Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a couple of extra inputs to your 202. Uh, last week I posted up how to take a triangle waveform from the oscillator to an output and how to have an input for the filter. Uh, this time, those were audio in inputs and outputs. This time I'm going to show you how to make, add a couple of uh, CV inputs. One to control the cutoff frequency and the other one to control the pulse width modulation amount. Now whatever you put into these jacks is going to be added to the fader. So if your fader is at maximum, you're not going to get any modulation. It's not going to make much difference. But to do these, it's quite simple. You just need a couple of 3.5mm jacks, um, some protection resistors, and some wire. And schematics for that will be up on my blog. Now if you look at this on YouTube, the blog address is dinsync.info. You can go there, you can find out how to do these, you can find out how to do the other ones I did, and a bunch of other stuff about XORX machines. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into edit mode on channel 1. I'm going to put in 8 random notes. And I'm just going to play them. Go to cycle mode and press start. Okay, now at this point I could add uh, you know, an external LFO. But I'm going to show you how to use the second channel as a programmable LFO. Now I'm using eight notes on that pattern, so I can, if I wanted to do a square wave across the whole cycle, that would be four low notes for a low voltage and four high notes for a high voltage. So I'll connect up the CV2 output to the VCF CV input. I'll go to channel two and I'll do four notes low. Oh, go into edit mode first. And then four notes high. If I press play, you'll just hear that's four high, and, uh, low and high notes. Okay, so um, if I go back to channel one, the original sequence, and I'll disconnect that so you can hear it again without the modulation. I'll connect up the CV to the input. And you can hear we've got a time synchronized square modulation onto the frequency. Now, if I go back to channel 2, um, go back to edit mode, instead of putting 4 low, 4 high, I'll put 2 low, 2 high, 2 low, 2 high. That will double the frequency of the square wave. Go back to channel 1, press play, and you'll hear that it will be twice as fast. Now, maybe you don't want a square wave, maybe you want a sine wave, so what you can do is a nice little trick. If you put a portamento on every step, you can then use the portamento control as kind of like a, a slew, well, exactly like a slew limiter. So let's put some portamento. Those are all programmed on every step on channel two. I go back to channel one, I press play, and when I, when I start, when I turn the knob up, you'll hear the difference. It will start at a square wave and it will turn into a sine wave. square wave when I press stop and you're not limited to just doing square waves um, you can do you can do ramps if you if you have the notes going up or you can have saws if you have the notes coming down or triangles if you have going up and down but of course this is only positive modulation because the CV output is 0 to 5 volts you're not going to get any negative modulation unfortunately but hey it's a free LFO and it's time synchronizable so it's not so bad after all um, I'll just show you now if we do put in, we can put random notes in and you'll get just random voltages. So I'll just go to edit mode on channel 2 again. And that's eight random notes across the, the whole keyboard. I shift it up and down. And if I go back to the first channel and press play. Basically, you get random filter positions, and again, we can um, put portamento on all of them. And when I play that now, and I increase the portamento time, then you know you'll have some rather wacky effect. Of 
course, there's nothing stopping you from using channel two, the same notes that you're playing, the output, or rather channel one, the output, and using that to control the pulse width modulation at the same time. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Or, of course, you can swap them around. And, yeah, and you, you get the idea. So you can use the, the, the CV outputs as modulation sources. 